on vertex colors for any static mesh or any mesh anyway like any mesh exported to creation kit so you have your mesh let's do this couple things here so go to modifiers modify modifier list and uh, vertex paint so you have your vertex now here's the thing so if you want vertex alpha it, so you want it transparent by a certain percentage somewhere you're gonna want to um, select vertex alpha here and so just I'm just gonna do something random paint your mesh whatever now again vertex paint so you you have your vertex alpha finished now on top of that you have to have vertex color even if you are not actually coloring the mesh and you're just making it transparent somewhere um, and then so you again paint your mesh so you have your two vertex paint layers here you go to NIF export as a NIF okay we're not using skeleton we don't have collision flatten hierarchies needed uh, all these are needed be sure to have vertex colors on because we're exporting vertex colors so these are your options export shit so let's load VP now here's the thing let's uh, so you have your mesh this is not the proper way to import it right so at this point if you're making an actual sword you put it along with the the real sword uh, NIF file so it has to be set up that way with a big PS and a fade node I have a tutorial on that anyway so uh, let's insert an I alpha property um, so the threshold is 128 I don't remember if I have to modify the flags um, BS shader property doesn't matter right so BS lighting shader property I'm just winging this so see uh, now this is basically how it's going to look in game effectively of course without the texturing but it has um, you have vertex colors on you have different vertex colors so you can see for example uh, give me something that's actually painted right because I can't see okay here we go there's so it's blue and it, it has low alpha right so it's tr transparent mostly transparent slightly blue there you go and, and so just have your alpha property Th there's different things you can do with flags I'm not gonna cover that that's for an advanced tutorial sometime later but so here you have like a half invisible sword whatever at this point just merge it with an actual sword NIF file and then yeah you're gonna have a transparent sword and that's how to deal with vertex colors you have to have 3DX, 3ds Max NIF tools to do this.